Alright guys, it is almost a pleasant summer day here in the drought plagued wasteland of South Austin, Texas. We have made it to Tuesday, July 2nd, 2013. And as I promised yesterday, today will be my Humpty Dumpty Tribe, all doomsday prophet, environmental alarmist uh, review of my old buddy Barack Obama's trip to my favorite spot on the planet to rant about, which would be Sub-Saharan Africa. Good God Almighty, guys. Obama in Sub-Saharan Africa uh, turned me loose and let me go. I, you know, I, this could, th this easily, I could sit here on this rock, I could burn up this battery, this video card, everything else. So to, so to somewhat to try to rein me in about uh, Barack Obama going back home to Africa. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, to somewhat rein me in, I have gone here on YouTube and the mainstream media to see how the different, uh, how other people are playing up this story. And uh, so I'm going to go down the line. And let's start here on YouTube, guys. And... and and I'm going to start right here with the number one most spot on, on target review of Barack Obama in Africa. This is by my Humpty Dumpty tribe hero. I've mentioned this guy before. I don't know his real name. Mark somebody calls himself the artist taxi driver. If you are not familiar with the artist taxi driver, and uh, you are a fan of the rant, then uh, one thing you will get out of my rant is an introduction to this genius for anybody, any fans of Bill Hicks, George Carlin. Uh, I want to introduce you to my hero. I have to admit I am very jealous of this guy. I wish to hell that, that I had his talent of the rant. So he has about a nine minute review of Barack Obama in Africa called Obama Visit to Africa Rubber Bullets and Stun Grenades. So I will put the link, it'll be the first link on here. Uh, now guys, I need to warn you about the artist Taxi Driver. If you are offended by the F word, you will probably be offended by uh, by my Humpty Dumpty tribe hero because my guess in this nine minutes uh, review of Barack Obama in Africa, he uses the F word about 900 times since he uses it about 100 times a minute. So you have received that warning. Okay, now for a little more serious and a little less accurate rendition. The best YouTube I have found on the issue is this 24-minute one uh, from Al Jazeera. Uh, I've mentioned Al Jazeera on other rants before. I'm a little uh, confused about exactly who Al Jazeera is. Uh, but anyway, leave it to them Arabs to come up with the best review of, uh, of Obama in Africa coming out of some uh, news agency controlled out of Qatar, I believe. Uh, I'm not going to, you, you can go on this link for yourself and I highly suggest that you do. Uh, it, and you will find the closest thing that I find to the truth, not counting the artist taxi driver, uh, which is the truth about what Obama is doing over there. But if you want to hear a little more fleshed out version of it, and at least Al Jazeera, unlike any mainstream media article that I found on, uh, that I found anywhere, uh, on the Yahoo News survey of mainstream media, at least Al Jazeera puts right up front, right the, the first thing they talk about uh, in their 24-minute video is, is the U.S. Army's president, presence 
in uh, in Africa my guess is was never mentioned by the US commander in chief uh, Barack Obama that uh, the US military is ramping up presence in Africa I have I've had rants about this before uh, the, the AFRICOM uh, the basically the the behind the scenes US military invasion of Africa let's make no mistake about it where the uh, US government's presence in Africa at least in the way I understand it 35 of their 54 countries is the US military okay but I'm trying to somewhat rein in this rant and uh, so since Barack Obama you better believe uh, was keeping his mouth shut about the US military in, in Africa and was in fact over there as a cheerleader as a cheerleader for the US corporations uh, the ramping up in Africa and the little poster boy being hired by everyone from General Electric to Exxon uh, and, and Walmart no doubt was cheering on uh, Obama let me just look at some of these mainstream media's stories the for it, 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 the, the single best mainstream media, why, why am I not surprised was, was by my uh, analysis of what's going on there uh, was from the Christian Science Monitor. Uh, their their, their in-depth analysis, which I do recommend. Again, it's getting a little farther from the truth. Uh, Christian Science Monitor Obama's partnership of equals in Africa. Both sides must step up. And so actually the Christian Science Monitor gets Hambone Little Tail's uh, nod of approval of, of somewhat what's going on over there. That, that, that is just the latest, he's just the latest American president talking about you know talking about this ramping up a partnership between uh, the US US businesses in Africa and so that brings me to this and I'm gonna put links to all of those guys here's one from Associated Press probably the one that captures the the mainstream media's play on this trip is this uh, mainstream media analysis by the Associated Press Obama courts Africa's business on trips final leg and uh, you know the main way that the US uh, mainstream media is playing this up is is talking about this partnership in trade guys let, let, let's cut to the chase here as I did it for, for, for anybody not understanding this and not wanting to listen to the artist's taxi driver's string of profanities which I have promised not to, to use here. Guys, <laughs> Barack Obama is in Africa to to ramp up the U.S.'s grab for minerals, for oil and minerals. This is what the, the, the poster boy of, of everyone from Exxon uh, to General Electric. The, the trade is pretty one-sided. What, what the hell does the U.S have to offer Africa anymore. Uh, th there is absolutely nothing, nothing uh, that the U.S. has to offer Africa. The, the only thing that those people want, over, want from us is moolah. They want the aid money 
and uh, and they want the food. They're they're we're not we're not manufacturing anything anymore. Uh, now, to the degree I guess that Walmart is a U.S. corporation. Uh, of course, what does Walmart sell is all of the is all of this uh, you know planet eating shit, most of which needs to be plugged in, uh, is made in China. Uh, guys, uh, yeah, Walmart has a lot to gain, and of course, General Electric, uh, to, to the degree that GE uh, is, is making all of this planet-eating big screen TVs and washing machines, and and everything. There, there's no there's no wonder that uh, the new U.S. aid being promised by Barack Obama is to ramp up the production of electricity in uh, in, in Africa uh, because. They, they don't have anywhere to plug in their washing machines and their flat screen TVs and their iPod chargers and, and their uh, laptop chargers and their uh, digital camera chargers. Uh, so yeah, uh, so what, I guess we're Barack, Barack Obama's talking about us uh, spending seven billion dollars of US taxpayers money uh, to give more Africans uh, access to electricity, can you say the planet eating? Uh, of course, General Electric uh, is cheering on Barack Obama over there because uh, GE, I'm sure, uh, although their products are being made in China and Indonesia and whatnot, I guess they are being sold in Walmart. And you better believe uh, in that small interim between now and the time that uh, Africa collapses under its own weight that Walmart and McDonald's Corporation uh, will be ramping up uh, in Africa. That is what the United States has to offer Africa is Walmart and McDonald's. Uh, but beyond that, there's nothing we have to offer them, you know. And and, and of course, GE uh, as a player in the in the in the global arms trade, uh, yeah, that is what we have. We have to uh, offer Africa is guns. Do you get it? Uh, Anyway, that would bring me into my whole rant about the U.S. military ramping up in Africa and, and how uh, and, and how all of the everything from guns to tanks to drones to uh, anyway, I, I got I got two more articles to uh, to brush up on uh, now. This one. Uh, I, I did like from takeparts.com Obama gets wild vows to fight illegal animal animal trade uh, this is a quote from him from President Barack Obama poaching and trafficking is threatening Africa's wildlife today I issue a new executive order to better organize U.S. government efforts in this fight so that we can cooperate with the Tanzanian government and others. Uh, blah, blah, blah about how concerned Barack Obama is with poaching and the illegal wildlife trade. Okay. For, for any of you who do not, as, as much as I applaud Barack Obama on this horseshit initiative, for any of, for anyone who does not understand this, including including the reporter for TakePart.com, who never mentioned this, if Barack Obama is concerned about the illegal wildlife trade uh, coming out of Africa, he will cease and desist all trade with Africa. Okay? 
the, if, if, you, if you want, as a, how many rants have I had about elephant poaching pointing out the, the ramping up in elephant poaching and all of this other uh, wildlife uh, trade in, in, in Africa is directly, directly tied to the ramping up of China in Africa. The more and more that China gets involved with, with African trade, where do, who do you think the, the illegal Af African wildlife trade is piggybacking on? It's pigging, piggybacking on the ramping up of Chinese trade in Africa. Africa going over there looting all of these other natural resources, uh, these legal natural resources to loot, uh, you better believe that the illegal natural resources of wildlife trafficking is taking full advantage, including full advantage of all the guns going into Africa from China. Where do you think the guns are coming from that are being used to kill the elephants and the rhinos and the lions and on and on? They need the guns. Number one, the poachers need the guns from the China and the U.S. to kill all these animals. And they need all of these damn ships going back and forth from uh, from China and Africa and, and, and more and more now the U.S. and Africa to, to ship all of this shit on. <laughs> you had better believe, guys, that uh, as you see in China, Africa trade relations ramping up the illegal wildlife trade, uh, the, the, the boon to the illegal wildlife trade brought on by, by any increased trade with, uh, with the U.S. is going to completely dwarf, completely dwarf whatever the planet-saving Barack Obama is doing to help the wild animals uh, uh, of Africa. And, and, and as long as I'm on this, I only have one more mainstream media story to talk about. Anyway, guys, let's cut to the chase here. If, if Barack Obama gives a shit, or as uh, the taxi drivers say, a flying F word about human Africans or African animals, he would be handing out condoms. Do you get it? Nowhere have I found in all of my research about Obama and Africa, I have completely failed to tur turn up the word overpopulation, which is the single biggest threat to every single African from elephants and rhinos and lions and giraffes right on up to humans. It is overpopulation. The one thing, the one item that we need to be sending to Africa is condoms or well, condoms, birth control pills, uh, IUDs, uh, the day after pill, the day before pill. You know, it, it, it is the single biggest threat, uh, hands down, bar none, it, it is the over is overpopulation. If, uh, if Barack Obama is concerned about uh, the illegal wildlife trade, he ought to take whatever he's pledging, $10 million or whatever, spend that $10 million on condoms and birth control pills. Jesus Christ, do you get it? Anyway, enough about the illegal wildlife trade and uh, the... And the Sixth uh, and last main st story I want to touch on here. This one out of uh, 
out of uh, Associated Press too. I mentioned this in my rant yesterday and I'll bring it up again. Uh, for, for the six or seven people on the planet, I, I apologize. You might have already heard me mention this. <laughs> about this, uh, uh, about I uh, guess who Barack Obama spent his last day in Africa with. Uh, none other than George W. Bush. Uh, I, I love this, you know, Gerald Salente, uh, my hero. Uh, I, I, I haven't heard what Gerald Salente's had to say about this trip, but I guarantee you, see, Gerald has this little thing, this little button that he pushes called his, his bullshit detector. Whenever he reads something from what, what Gerald's uh, shtick is, he will read some sentence from the mainstream media and press his little bullshit detector and it will start screaming, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Uh, and I guarantee you that if, that if Gerald Salente reads this one, uh, initially the two presidents were not even planning to meet while in town. Uh, yes, uh, that this was a complete coincidence. That uh, a complete coincidence, complete coincidence that uh, Barack Obama and and that oil tycoon George Bush just happened to be over there in Tanzania uh, right on the heels of news about all of these new oil finds, these oil discoveries, and the ramping up of, uh, of oil production all over East Africa. And then, who do you find over there in East Africa for the first time since the day he was born uh, was Barack Obama and, and George W. Bush. Do, do you get this, guys? Uh, <laughs> you know, when, when, when was the last time Barack Obama and, and George W. Bush got together in the United States, my, just a wild hunch, it was probably the, the, some meeting of the Council of Foreign Relations with, with Rex Tillerson, the head of Exxon, talking about how we all need to adapt to uh, global warming caused by the burning of fossil fuels that are going to be ramped up in, in East Africa. Uh, good God Almighty, but also as I mentioned uh, yesterday, the one place you will not see, uh, you will not see Barack Obama or George Bush is over there in Kenya because a, you, it's the same reason, the reason that, that uh, Barack Obama was not in Kenya was the same reason that he was not in Nigeria which is uh, the biggest country of all over there in Africa is because he doesn't want to, he, he doesn't want to be associated, you know, in doing business with, the, with these human rights abusers. And it's damn hard to find countries in Africa that, that where their presidents are not, uh, you know, in The Hague, and the uh, International Court of War Crimes. So, so we have the two biggest war criminals on the planet, uh, Barack Obama and George W. Bush. The, 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 the two biggest war criminals on planet Earth over there in Tanzania, uh, which just so happens to be having all of these new oil discoveries uh, just, just acting like la da da. We don't do business with war criminals. And, well, to, and, 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 and to Al Jazeera's uh, credit, where they do mention, they mention in here about this horse shit uh, about uh, the United States 
claiming it does not do business uh, with, with war criminals and these human rights abusers. Uh, this one of them, I can't remember which of them pointed this out, to my applause that, uh, that the United States, mainly the oil companies, have been over there in Nigeria since 1956 doing business with war criminals. Uh, now China uh, makes the, you know, makes no bones about doing business. I, I've mentioned this in other rants that uh, China could give a shit. Uh, they're over there doing business with uh, whoever will do business with them. They, they could get, you know, they, they don't make any hypocritical pretense. The only difference between the U.S. and China and doing business with war criminals is that uh, the leaders of the U.S. are the biggest war criminals on the planet, number one, and, and they're just a little more hidden about it. And uh, so this is just one reason that China is way ahead of the U.S. Uh, in, in trade with Africa. And it's all about talking about uh, a lot of people claim, perhaps correctly, uh, I would say this is one reason that Barack Obama, I'm not discounting, it is to play catch up with China. Uh, you know, and it, and, and I think it was in, I don't know which one, probably the Al Jazeera one, pointing out that, that about Barack Obama pledging $7 billion of, uh, of U.S. taxpayer money to, uh, to make electricity available uh, to more Africans. Can you say planet-killing uh, hydroelectric projects, they point out that in that one dam alone, one of these planet-eating rainforest killing dams in the Congo, that, uh, that China is spending two billion dollars on, uh, on one dam to kill the planet uh, over there in China. Uh, so anyway, and Right, and of course, I didn't even get into this whole thing about what this is costing the U.S. This visit, this taxpayers, the taxpayers, uh, by some estimates, just spent $100 million to send Barack Obama. They talk about we flew over 56 limousines from the U.S. We loaded up on airplanes and flew 56 limousines to Africa was part of the 100 million dollar bill uh, billed to the U.S. taxpayers. And now we have 7 billion dollars billed to the U.S. taxpayers so General Electric and Walmart uh, can get more of these Africans plugged in to their planet eating crap made in China planet eating crap, you better believe that China is cheering on uh, Barack Obama's uh, and George Bush's uh, trip over there. And, you know, guys, I, 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 I could go on and on and on with this rant, but, uh, but I, I, I'm, 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 I'm just going to wrap it up. That And once again, refer you to the artist taxi driver because if, if, if I had the freedom on a Humpty Dumpty tribe to cut loose with, with my true opinions of Barack Obama in Africa, dodging those war criminals, ramping up the illegal wildlife trade, and and he, over there with his buddies, George W. Bush, in a grab for the oil, I would sound exactly like the uh, the artist taxi driver. So that's uh, anyway. I'm just going to shut myself up here because I could see where this rant could go. And and don't worry, uh, I don't need uh, Barack Obama in Africa 
to have rants about Barack Obama or Africa. And I promise you, I will have plenty more rants about both of my favorite subjects in the future. But for this one, bye guys.